Hi, and welcome to another video from visionmaths.com. This time, we'll be looking at simple interest and compound interest. We normally talk about interest when we're investing money in a bank account. However, not all interest is calculated in the same way. We'll first begin with simple interest. Let's say, for example, we start a bank account with £200. A simple interest of 3% each year would earn us £6 a year, and that's the same for every year with a simple interest account. How do we work this out? Well, to find out what the 3% of the original £200 would be, we divide our original 200 by 100, and that gives us 1%, or £2, and then we times this by 3, as it's 3% we're looking for. This gives us £6. We'll add this onto the initial amount invested, which is 200, giving us £206 at the end of year 1, and because it's only simple interest, we just add this every year after that, so we get £212 for our second year, £218 for our third year, and so on. Compound interest is where it gets a bit more tricky. So, if we use the same example as before, we'll start the bank account with £200 again, and we'll have a compound interest this time of 3%. We'll still earn £6 in the first year, however, the interest value will increase every year after. This is because compound interest compounds the interest we've earned before, as well as the money in the account, every year. To work out the compound interest this time, we use exactly the same formula as we did before for the simple interest, again giving us £206 as our total for year 1. However, we have to recalculate this in year 2, taking into account the entire £206, that's the interest added as well as the initial investment, which gives us 206 plus £6.18, giving us a total value of £212.18 for year 2. You may have already worked out which sort of interest gives you more money at the end of a certain period, however, this table allows us to compare the two. Let's say we go down the high street and we see two different bank accounts offering the same 7% interest, only one simple interest and the other compounded. How do we work out which is a better value deal if we're going to invest our money for 5 years without touching it? Well, to work out the simple interest, we simply take the initial investment, £450, divide that by 100 to get £4.50, and times it by 7, as again it's 7% interest we're looking for each year, which gives us £31.50 to add on each year, because it's simple interest, we just add this £31.50 to the previous year's total sum instead of doing any more calculations. However, when we come to the compound interest bank account, we need to recalculate each year based on the total amount invested as well as any interest that's accumulated in the previous years, which means for our first year, taking our £450 original investment, dividing that by 100, giving us 450, and times it by 7 again to find out what the 7% interest is after year 1. Now this does give us the same answer of £481.50 as the year 1 in the simple interest account. However, when it comes to year 2, we're going to have a slightly different calculation. This time, we take the entire £481.50 we got from the end of year 1, which is the interest added to the initial investment of £450. We then divide this by 100 to get our £4.82, and times it by 7 to get our £33.70, which will then add to year 1's total to get the final value of year 2. To find the value of year 3, we do the same thing again, using the previous year, year 2's total of £515.21, dividing it by 100 to get £5.15, and times it by 7 again to get £36.06 interest. At the end of year 3, we get a total value of £551.27 in our account using the compound interest. If we repeat the same procedure again, till the end of year 5, we realise that we now have £631.15 in our compound interest account. We can compare this to the simple account where we only got £607 and see straight away that a compound interest account gives you more money over a fixed amount of time. So, to prove this in an exam, we can see that £631.15 in our compound account minus the £607 total of our simple interest account gives us £24.15, meaning we're £24.15 better off in a compound interest account over 5 years than our simple interest account. To work out how much better off we are each year, you can divide this £24.15 by the 5 year period. Thanks for watching, and as ever, subscribe to our channel, Revision Videos, for more videos, or go to revisionmaths.com for more revision materials.